place today for sure, and their Kawhi Jelly is absolutely unmatched and untouched, and they do a phenomenal job. So as you can see, um, this was their last like really dominant day as an Apex team. And this is the last comp I'm going to talk about before I talk about the downfall of TSL, or Team Liquid, as we know it at this point in time. Which was extremely heartbreaking to me as a child, but now I see like it had to happen for every party involved. But, um, realistically, this is the last, like, real dominant thing, and they made a change from the, uh, Rafe, uh, Gibby Caustic and the... Race Bloodhound Gibby in the in the Bangalores and the Horizons we saw. And it was a shift in the meta to Octane. So we will see some amazing play here from and this is probably the best nocturnal individually had tournament as a Gibraltar, in my opinion. I don't think he was that great of a Gibraltar as a Gibby man. I thought he was good overall, but as a Gibraltar he was probably the worst option out of his three teammates to play Gibby. Although, I don't think there was a better option given the moment. And Tom, speaking that his teammates were better at other playstyles and characters. So, realistically, he was the best option for Gibby at that time. Although, I do think that there was a large amount of better Gibbies. Although, I would disagree with anyone who made that statement during that time. In that time, Nocturnal was the GOAT, Nocturnal was life, and Nocturnal was awesome. So, yeah. Let's continue. We need to kill the team above us! We need, we need to kill them. They're gonna fall off the building. We need to kill them. Give me one more, two more, two more, two more, two more. Broken. I'm going for kills. I'm going for kills. I'm going for kills. I'm going to look for kills too then. I, I almost killed two. They're low. They're low. Fuck, I got all three. I got all three. Being completely honest, in terms of a overall play, I think he's the second best Octane of all time. But in terms of, like, mechanics, I can't name an Octane better than Alp. I'm just being real here. I mean, look at what you're about to see, dude. I'm heading now. Okay. I'm going. I'm testing though. I'm coming, though. Nice. Good job. Nice. Beautiful play. Bubbling in. Bubbling in. In on me. In on me. Gibby on me. Gibby on me. I'm climbing over. Sorry, watch out. Run, 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 run. Valk, run, run. Nice. Give me up. Okay, you did see a short preview of them running Valk there and Caustic. That wasn't the main comp they were in, but it was a solid one. And they were one of the probably first five teams to, like, give it a shot. And uh, they were somewhat successful, but could have been better. But I do think that they were really good. So... Go, 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 go. I bubbled it. I bubbled on roof. On roof, on roof, on roof. Yep. Right on me, right on me. Right on me. I killed one. On me. Give me that. Yep. Took the one. They're pushing, yeah. I'm pushing it back, pushing it back, pushing it back. They're pushing, they're pushing, they're pushing. Give me making place here. Flank him with the kill. Nocturnal, two going down. Knock all by himself right now. Kill shots coming out from Knock. He needs to stay alive here in time for this. And he gets the kills. 3 KP more yep. coming out from Liquid and Coke. Look, look at my ankle. Look at my ankle. Look at my ankle. Yeah. They're stuck in the corner, you got needs. Up in the back. So as you can see, um, this team was very good, but um, unfortunately, um, with the lack of a uh, play time they had together at the end, uh, Albert Lately, as a passionate human being and player, Nock was, as a longtime friend and teammate of Flanker, not going to drop him, which makes sense. Um, I wouldn't drop Crusade either. I mean, I picked him up after both of us not playing for a couple seasons. After a year and a half hiatus in comp, I picked him up. And, uh, realistically, we were bad at first and we got better. So, I, I understand the perspective of having a longtime duo and best friend in the game not wanting to drop him. And I also understand... The pressure of having one of the most well-established pros on your team want to leave because of it. And that's basically the situation. Um, if Flanker played the game consistently, Al would realistically still be there a little bit longer at least. And he wouldn't have had to deal with a million Mazer moments going to C9. Which, um, outside of leaving TSM, Al is recorded on camera saying that is the biggest regret of his career. Leaving Nocturnal for, um... Leaving Nocturnal for, um... Zach, 
so yeah, uh, I mean, I'll show you a clip of Nock. I mean, getting completely glazed. I mean, you would think Alba lately is the starting point for for the Portland Trail Blazers after this clip. Just just stay tuned. Right here, right here, right here, right here, right here, right here. I got, I got, I got, I got it. Bro, that guy was just jogging along, and I just double headed him like he just died instantly. Yeah, you look so healthy right now in there. So very healthy. Oh my god. X Zoning Brandon. Thank you so much. Let's go. Whoa. This is why Whoa. you are the best IGL in the world. You know, you guys can be professional players third, after this. Third best. No, no, no. The best. Statistically. Cool. It's an opinionated yeah. statement, so. Statistically. Uh, Wait, who's first and second? Uh, zero than hell. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, true, true, ooh. true. Ooh, you can't I I, say that. I, I don't I don't respect how he's a controller player. Ooh! Oh! Ooh. You're gonna let him say that, Mac? What? I mean, it's like, not like not I mean, that doesn't make me mad. It doesn't make me He's just, he's just <laughs> kicking a fucking hornet's nest. He also, he also blew Sykes a kiss last night, and I'm kind of mad at him, so, like, I don't want to, you know. Hmm? Now he has to stop co jailing, and now he has to step um, into a new light as a top IGL in the world. Now at this point, he's clearly the number one co IGL of all time, but he hasn't really had very much of an opportunity to prove his solo IGLing skills. And losing a player as versatile as Albert Lilly, who's been as successful, is going to be very hard shoes to fill. Luckily, there is a heavy free agent market, and there is somebody on the free agent market to join him and Flanker that is statistically, and probably a better Gibby than Alb ever was, overall. And quite frankly, just as versatile. And I'd argue he's a better support, worse fragger, and better defender. So, uh... And I don't think there's a better support slash defensive player than the player I'm about to name. And if you can uh, think of who I'm about to name uh, next, go ahead and comment. But uh, that was the end of TSL as we know it, or T-Law 2.0. Um, so goodbye, Albert Lilly. You will not make any appearances in the rest of the series. And um, realistically, not for a long time on my channel. But uh, we love you, and uh, hopefully you do well at uh, LAN uh, Champs, so that I can make a video on you later. Um, but, yeah. Also, if I do an ALB video, it will preferably be a one or two parter, not like this ten part series I'm doing. So, yeah, um, that would be very much preferred. But, yeah, that's the end of TSL. So, um... This is the rise of a uh, Team Liquid 3.0, and uh, 4.0 is going to be even better. But uh, or let's just say a uh, 3.5. This is Team Liquid 3.0. I mean, but we'll get a uh, 3.5, and we'll get four. You know, so yeah. Um, let's uh get into the new uh, Nocturnal teammate. You know, yeah. Pushing. So if you guess that this guy yeah. would be the new support slash flex slash defense for Team Liquid and not Kino, you were correct. Congratulations, you were correct. Fun FPS is absolutely insane in every character and everything he does. And he is probably the best character and the best player to upgrade from Avenida. Hello, my name is Fun FPS. Now, being completely honest, um, one of the more underrated OG players is Flanker. Is and it would take a lot to replace him, effectively. But, um, to be completely honest, there was an upgrade needed from not only the inconsistent play time that they would get to Flanker, but also just the declining mechanical skill and uh, the declining mental health. Um, so they definitely had to replace this guy. I'm but in honor of Liquid Flanker, I want to watch what is some Flanker highlights to show how really good this team was with him.
This one, this one, this one, this one. Let's see how good he truly was. He's cracked. There's still a bunch of loot here. As the original Bangalore criminal. Bang right here. Yep. Look for the small building. If possible. Original Bangalore criminal. Criminal looks insane, by the way. They're watching the portal of the Kraber. Okay, bad idea then. Uh, we can't walk around. I think we just have to bully this team off the south. Or we can play, yeah, we can walk, we can play right here. I, think. Yeah, I can ult them off their spot. No, we're safe here. We're safe oh, here. We're safe here. If you guys want to push anymore. Yeah. The original Bangalore criminal. Also, the reason that I run. They bubbled on a roof. One down. One down. I'm going to ult this probably. Pretty much insane with everything, honestly. I bought as well. He's a very nice guy. His girlfriend was like. Uh, They're resing somewhere. I hope all is well with you, Flanker, if you ever see this. By the way. Hope all is well with you. What a play, dude. What a play. Yeah, I definitely miss him, dude. I miss him a lot. Up here. Like, outside of. Like, being completely honest, outside of Nocturnal and fun of PS, this is probably my favorite player of all time because he, he like, bro, dude is insane at what he does. I wish he still played, but realistically, it'll never happen again, but I hope all is well with your flanker. You're actually insane. Okay, here, actually, I'm walking out of you. Dude. I'm really still walking out of you. Recharging my shield. Phoenix, I'm hurt. Using a Phoenix kit. They could walk in here. Because right here. Okay. There's actually, more maids on that body. Right there. They're going to step up. That you hate to play against, but love to play with. Yep. Yeah. He's on the door. I'm walking around on the door. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. That was so cringe, but yeah. Cringe. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, one clip me instantly. Yeah, it was the nice like, one, one clip. Yeah. I can't believe I just found out about Lost Gold. As you can tell, this is a way to get great for the uh, I on Bang, dude. Uh, I mean, this is realistically the best Bang of War we've seen uh, at this point, NA. Me as the pioneer of Bang of War, NA. We don't want to trap our. The second person to encourage yeah, yeah, Bang of And the first Bang player besides Sue Buffy is Yeah. He's hitting a bat on the door right here or a cell. I can't quite see him. Realistically, yeah. yeah. I just fucked everybody up. Broke, broke three. So Fuck, I, hit, a, I got some hard hits in my ult. Portal? Hey, Scorn. Hey, Scorn. Hey, Scorn. Back on me, back on me. Yep. Oh, oh. South, 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 south. I have one garbage shot left. Yep. Need to recharge my shields. Looks like I'm Wide flank left. Multiple. Taking damage over here. Left. I'm moving up close, right? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Okay. Yeah, you're oh, Bagging out. Wraith on the left. Heads up. Check out this way. Yeah, spot. yeah, this is rough. When did he no. bang back then? It was like basically unheard of, though. Completely unheard of. Let me work this left angle. Oh, yes, he makes it work, man. Smoke. Above me? Above me. It's the path. Hey, stop going on top of the box. Look over the Hit the path 20. Path laser, path laser on me. Broken, broken, broken. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. Up in the chimney. To get this path out of here. Yeah, we need to force it. We need to force it. Move up on that. Move up on that. I'm bubbling. I'm bubbling. Go, 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 go. On 